So all populations sift across the standard deviation, the, whole, the, the, the old bell curve, right? If you have high performers in a population, you're gonna have low performers, you're gonna have an average, always, mm -hmm. right? What the law of diffusion tells us is that the first two and a half percent of any population are your innovators. These are your big idea people, right? Then the next uh, about 13 and a half percent of your population are early adopters. These people are very comfortable um, spending extra money, time, energy, making some sort of sacrifice to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves, that reflects who they are. Then you have the majority, the early majority and the late majority, a little more cynical, a little more practical. You know, what's in it for me? Um, will I get my money back if it doesn't work? You know, will I get in trouble? You know, that kind of thing, you know, a little more risk averse. And then finally, the last 16%, you have your laggards. The only reason they do anything is because you basically don't have a choice anymore. Right. What the law of diffusion tells us is that if you want to have mass market success, if you want an idea to spread or be sticky, um, you have to achieve between uh, 15 and 18% market penetration. And then a social phenomenon happens called a tipping point. And it just goes. But because most of us want the majority, we aim all of our efforts at the majority, which actually doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Because the majority will not try something new until somebody else has tried it first. And so there's nothing that I'm doing that's mythical or magical. Right? Um, there's social phenomena that I've written about, other people have written about. The law of diffusion is not my idea. It's em Emmett Rogers right. from the 1960s, you know? Um, um, the only thing that I did, like anything that works, is I had the discipline to do it. That's right? right. You want to get into shape, you have to have the discipline to do it. You want to be healthy, you have to have the discipline to do it. And so, and you have to get comfortable that you cannot predict when success happens. You just have to believe that the process works and you stick to the process. That's all I did. And everything that I did is written about in that book. Yeah. That's literally the, the thing that I followed.